Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a fun video. It's not that serious you guys. It is going to be my unpopular makeup opinion. So be prepared. There'll be things that I say that you'll be like, what? <laughs> I do that. Why do I feel attacked? Why do I feel like she's judging me? It's all for fun, right? It's all bants. It's not that serious. But anyway, I have listed out, I've counted 10 points of makeup opinions of mine, which I'm going to share with you guys. So let's start off with the first thing. And I've got them written out here in front of me. So I will be looking at them now and then. So the first one is the whole bushy eyebrows trend, which is still continuing to this day. Why do you look like your eyebrows have been hit by lightning? Like, honestly, it's like lightning struck more than once in the same place and your eyebrows are just like this, waving at the stars. I don't like it. I think it looks weird. I think it looks strange. I think it looks unkempt. I think you look untidy. And that's my number one opinion. Next unpopular makeup opinion is again another trend. A lot of mine seem to be trends and sometimes trends they come and go they're for fun they're more for Instagram likes rather than serious day-to-day -day kind of makeup wear and looks. Uh, but the next one is the concealer being placed on the inner part of your eye and then the outer part of your eye which is a current trend. I don't get it. What's the point when you just blend it all together anyway? So whereas I for example I just apply concealer like that and like that and blend it all together what difference does it make if you apply it there and there when you're going to blend it all into one uniform blended out even color anyway doesn't make any sense to me all right another trend which started off around the winter time when people were going through this whole let me apply blusher to my nose to make it look like i've got a cold now as somebody who did have a cold at that time and naturally whose nose was red we did not appreciate that because i just felt like i was being attacked for uh me looking sick which is supposed to make me look cute when inside i'm slowly dying like i remember the blusher on the nose trend from well, like the early 2000s when I was in my late teens and I mean like I was 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 the trend was to apply bronzer to the nose and I'm not gonna lie I used to do it a little bit as well and then eventually I stopped and now it seems to be apply loads of blusher on your cheeks and your nose and it's supposed to look cute you look like Ronald McDonald oh now this one's a contentious one and it's a trend that's been going on for a good 10 years now i'm really waiting for it to slowly die out it is lip fillers lip fillers you all look like carbon copies of each other and they never look natural it's always obvious i don't understand why so many people get it it's like you're trying to naturally enhance the size of your lips yet at the same time you look unnatural because if you look at somebody like me who's naturally got full lips if i was to then go and get lip fillers i'd have a very obvious lump above my lip firstly because having lip fillers basically fills out the skin that you've got in your lip area if you don't have additional skin it just looks bloated and you look like a puffer fish there's nothing wrong with enhancing your natural beauty in my opinion but there are limits to it especially when it's obvious another one too much blusher on the apples of your cheeks you look sunburned stop doing it it's meant to be subtle it's meant to be a little bit like i've got full-on glam going on in my eyes my lip color is fairly neutral and i've got a little bit of blush on highlighter bronzer there's no need it can you imagine what i'd look like if i'd gone in with a heavier hand i'd look awful i would look slightly uh unwell and um yeah it's just not a good look too much full coverage foundation on those of you that have already got flawless skin now the whole purpose obviously of full coverage foundation is to help you even out your skin tone help cover blemishes marks imperfections fill out texture that sort of thing now if you don't have any of those things why are you then applying full coverage foundation now the problem there is that you look fake because you're already blessed to have skin that already looks like it's naturally got foundation on it the fact that you're applying full coverage foundation on top of that just makes you look unnatural it makes you look like a mannequin and it makes you look fake so all you need really is just to if you want to just even out your skin tone apply some tinted moisturizer light or medium coverage kind of apply it to certain areas which you maybe feel need a little bit of help and leave it at that i wear full coverage foundation because i've got imperfections because i've got redness because i've got texture and scarring etc i've done so much over the past couple of years to really work on making my skin look so much better and luckily for me it has worked all these acids and serums and retinols and vitamin c's definitely have worked i'm actually comfortable nowadays wearing medium coverage foundation another trend the fake 
freckles trend oh my god you look like you got skin disease you look strange let me tell you something about freckles right real freckles are random smatters they're not strategically placed little blobs the way that you've done it like it like those dinosaurs back in the day you used to see them with their you know faces and they've got freckles all over strategically placed by jurassic parks animators and yeah you just look silly and weird now i'm gonna tell you something about me i actually naturally have freckles they're not on my face though <laughs> they're all over my back my mum and i have both got loads of freckles along the nape of our neck onto our back personally i hate them firstly i can't see them secondly because of my skin tone because I'm a brown South Asian woman they don't look like I want them to look they look like brown pieces of dirt and I, I remember one time ages ago I had my hair tied up somebody came up to me somebody I know obviously it wasn't a stranger they came up to me and they started rubbing my neck going you got some sort of dirt I was like get your hands off me man they're freckles and they were like oh see and they're randomly smattered they're not nice and neat and that sort of thing personally I think natural freckles look absolutely gorgeous however these fake trends of them like neatly applying it over your face looks like you're appropriating some sort of culture by doing that and you need to stop it oh another one is a celebrity makeup brands you guys just because Gwen Stefani or Beyonce or whoever it is has come out with a makeup brand doesn't mean you're suddenly going to wake up looking like them they don't even look like their natural selves from back in the day because they've done so much to themselves because they have the means to do so now if you were to go and spend 25 pounds on a Lady Gaga lipstick you're not gonna wake up looking like Lady Gaga right and just because a celebrity has released a line doesn't mean that it's the best quality just because they've attached a 50 pound price tag to it as well just because your favorite has released something and maybe yeah you want to support them but I think you're going to be really annoyed if you spent a hundred pounds of your hard-earned money and you've saved your money specifically to buy stuff from this celebrity and the stuff has failed so just remember that there is a reason why brands attach themselves to celebrities is because they are relying on the credibility of the celebrity to get something sold irrespective of whether it's actually good or not another one oh now lots of people use this myself included sometimes even though i've really stopped and i'm just mostly just using mine up primers i don't really see the need to use a primer i mean if you use decent skincare and i let's see okay cleanser toner um i've recently almost finished my dear claire's midnight blue youth activating drops so i used that followed by a serum followed by a vitamin c cream that i'm not going to share with you guys because this brand new launch hasn't come out yet followed by a moisturizer followed by sunscreen i've got a decent amount of skincare on and i've let it dry down so that my makeup can stick to my face seamlessly set everything with powder use a setting spray which definitely does work what do i need primer for as well it just seems like an unnecessary step last Last one and one that a lot of people again won't like to hear because I know a lot of people obviously use it but this is just a personal gripe of mine lip gloss you have to reapply it one million hundred times a day it's so annoying it's messy it gets everywhere god forbid if you're like me and you've got your hair out and your hair happens to blow across your face in the wind oh look you've got streaks of lines on your face of your lip gloss it's come off onto your mug of tea it's come off onto your hand because you accidentally brushed your hand it's come off onto something else oh no the color's wearing off oh my god it's bleeding and me lip glosses bleed on all the time the constant reapplication is so long they finish so much faster than everything else else as well and again somebody like me again i'm talking from a personal point of view someone who's got generously sized lips when it starts to bleed and it doesn't just bleed down here it bleeds all around i look like i've been punched in the face i look like i went and had lip fillers done and it went wrong so those are my humble unpopular makeup opinions i hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment make sure you subscribe to my channel let me know what your thoughts are what are your unpopular makeup opinions what things out there that people do to themselves that you hate because you've tried it and you actually don't even think that it's that good and there's nothing wrong with it there's no right or wrong answer it's just a fun little video you know just let yourself go say what you want to say and i will laugh along with you other than that i hope you guys are fabulous looking gorgeous as always do what you want to your own faces obviously and i'll see you all in the next video bye